Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. The question for today, is there a Paint app on your Mac? MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than 900 supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you can read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. So the question is often asked, is there a Paint app on your Mac? In other words, is there an app that you can open up an image with and edit the pixels or draw something on a blank canvas? And while the answer is no, there's no dedicated Paint app that comes with your Mac, there are several apps that you can use to edit images and draw. And there are a variety of apps that you can get in the Mac App Store that allow you to edit images, draw, and some of them are even free. So first let's say you have an image here and you just want to edit it. There's an app on your Mac that allows you to do some editing and it's called Preview. And it's what you get by default when you double click on the file to open it. You'll open it up in Preview. Now in Preview you can go to Tools and in here you can do things like adjust color and then you have a variety of ways to adjust the colors in the image. You could also go to Adjust Size and this allows you to resize the image. If your goal is to simply convert the image you can go to File and then Export and then from there you can choose a variety of standard formats. And you can also mark up the image using this tool here and now you have a variety of things including the ability to draw on the image, add text, boxes, lines, all sorts of things. You can even make selections. So you can select something, copy and paste it or clear the image in that area. So while you can't really draw and do the things you would expect to do in an image editor you can do some basic things that may mean that this is the only tool that you need. On the other hand if the image is in the Photos app then there are a lot of tools in the Photos app that allow you to do things. It's still not a paint tool. You can't actually edit the pixels. But you can go to Edit and you have the ability to make adjustments. So you have lots of light and color adjustments here. You can apply filters and you can crop and rotate the image. And you can also in Photos export the image to convert it into a variety of different formats. But what about a real graphics app? Something that allows you to edit an image, change the pixels, draw on it, and create something from scratch. Well of course the king of all the apps is Photoshop. But Photoshop is fairly expensive. But there are some great apps in the App Store that don't cost nearly as much. So the first one I want to mention is Acorn. Acorn is a great image editor that costs $30 in the Mac App Store. Here's what it looks like and you can see there's a variety of tools, the things you would expect to see in a graphics app. It has all of the basics and then some. It's not the most full featured app but it also is probably the easiest to get into. I find when I want to do something quick I go to Acorn. Now a higher end app is Pixelmator Pro. You can get this in the Mac App Store for $40. There's a pretty comprehensive set of tools in Pixelmator Pro and of course there are also versions of it for the iPhone and iPad. It's definitely the most popular choice of Mac users for a graphics app. In fact I use it every day to make the thumbnails for the Mac Most videos and for a variety of other things. Another popular choice is Affinity Photo which costs $25 in the Mac App Store. Affinity Photo has an excellent set of tools for manipulating photographs. One downside though is that most of the graphics creation tools are actually in another app called Affinity Designer. So Affinity Photo and Affinity Designer work really well as a pair and I use both of them. Matter of fact I love using Affinity Designer to design graphics for my games. In a way this is more similar to how Adobe does things with Adobe Photoshop and Illustrator. But what if you don't want to pay anything for an app? Well there's actually an app in the App Store. It's been around for a long time. And not only is it pretty good as an image editor but it's probably the most similar thing to a paint type app that you'll find. It's called Seashore. And here's what Seashore looks like. It's a much more basic tool than Pixelmator, Affinity, or Acorn. But it does feel a lot more like an old fashioned painting app. And if you only occasionally need to be able to edit the pixels in an image or create a graphic this may be the tool that you need since it doesn't cost anything. And there's one more one I want to mention. If you really like Photoshop and you want to stick with Photoshop but you don't want to pay the monthly subscription to Adobe, maybe you just don't use it often enough, there is Photoshop Element. That's available in the Mac App Store and Adobe updates it just about every year. You can get it for 80 bucks. It's still more expensive than any of those other tools I mentioned but a lot cheaper than getting the full subscription to Adobe's Creative Cloud. So which one's the best one for you? Well it really depends on your situation. Pros are probably going to still stick with full Photoshop because it's what their colleagues and their clients use and they need that compatibility and they need 
all the different tools that Photoshop has. But also a lot of pros have left Photoshop to use either Affinity Photo and Designer or Pixelmator Pro. But if you just want to be able to adjust images, crop them, export them, I would try to stick with the Photos app already on your Mac or just use Preview. And if you want to have a little fun with graphics every once in a while on your Mac and you don't need all the features in those other apps, give Seashore a try. But those aren't the only choices. If you're using something else and you really like it, let me know in the comments below. If you liked this video, click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.